Good day. My name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Locksport, the home of online gaming, wonderful views, and Australian wildlife. I do hope you like these videos. If so, please subscribe. Good day. My name is King Admiral Commander Black Star, my Triple Lead at your service. And welcome back to Me Killing Things and listening to the Elite Dangerous News number 243. Greetings Commander Black Star Lord and welcome to the Elite Dangerous Newsletter 243. This week, you can check out the winners of the Elite Dangerous Battle Contest. These commanders will have their ships featured in the upcoming Guard Game by Spider Mind Games. We also have some pictures of our latest community events. Thank you to everyone who took time out to come and see the team. As always, you can hear the latest news and updates directly from the development team on our forums, Twitter, Facebook, as well as right here in the newsletter every week. We're always eager to hear your feedback. On the horizon. All the latest for Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous Battle Cards. A short while ago we showcased the upcoming Elite Dangerous themed card game from Spider Mind Games and gave you the opportunity to become a part of that game. Before revealing the winners, we'd like to extend a huge thanks to both Spider Mind Games and all the commanders who took part and sent in their entries. Without further ado, we're pleased to announce the following winners who have been selected by the team over at Spider Mind Games, who have also mentioned that the quality was superb all round. These three winners will not only receive a copy of Elite Dangerous Battle Cards but also have their ship immortalized as one of the cards in the game. Target Commander Arburich, Linguistic Alchemy. Commander J.S. Bear, Ugly Duckling. Commander X. Copper Crow X, The Gypsy Nova. Frontier Community Meets Plus Fantastic on 2018. The Elite Dangerous Community Team were incredibly excited to have been able to visit so many events this year. With appearances at Game Escom, PAX West and Fantastic Con, we've had an amazing time getting to hang out with our community, talk about the game and get a chance to have some fun with you all. We can't wait to see you all again at future events. Credit to the Fantastic Con Facebook page for the last photo. Store Spotlight. The latest goods and deals from the Frontier Store. Python Horace Paint Pack. This week, make your python look fit for a god with these exquisite designs that have survived the centuries. The Horus Paint Pack. As always, available from your respective platform store. Community. The best from the community, all in one place. Origami Coriolis. Commander Joe Lemsey B shared his Coriolis station made from a book of mathematical origami. Check out the slideshow on Reddit. Sidewinder MK2? Verminus has created some fantastic concept art for a second Sidewinder model. Visit his Twitter account to see more awesome renders. Galit Focus. All the news from across the galaxy. Assembly to vote on proposed changes. The Alliance Assembly has agreed to vote on President Gibson Kincaid's proposed changes to the Constitution. Kincaid has lobbied for the role of president to be invested with executive powers, and for each presidential term to last six years. The vote will take place in mid-October, at the same time as the presidential election. Fire destroys Super Atach facility. A manufacturing complex owned by computer company Super Atach has been destroyed by fire. All personnel managed to escape the blaze, but the fire has ruined the company's main production complex. Company CEO Scorpio Davoro expressed incredulity at the failure of the facility's fire suppression system. Thargoid sympathizer arrests increase. The Federal Intelligence Agency has increased arrests of potential Thargoid sympathizers, as it continues to investigate the Fargod cult. 
independent observers have confirmed that the fear has discovered further empty far god hive chapels. The whereabouts of hundreds of adherents remains unknown. Gnosis Stranded The Gnosis, flagship of the Canon Interstellar Research Group, has been left stranded following a Thargoid attack. A message from the ship's command crew confirmed that the incident caused severe internal damage to multiple systems, including the frame shift drive. The Gnosis is currently adrift close to the eighth planet of the Autots SDID-96 system. Scandal hits Rochester family. The Mars Tribune has revealed that actor Thomas DeRai, husband of Jupiter Rochester, has been having an extramarital affair with Olympian athlete Reagan Lord. Thomas DeRai and August Lord, husband of Reagan Lord, have both announced their intention to sue the Tribune for defamation. The publication's owner, billionaire Kingsley Cordova, has confirmed that he will cover all legal costs in contesting both civil actions. Thargoid campaign concludes. A public appeal for Thargoid materials from the Thargoid sect has been enthusiastically received by the galactic community. Chancellor Ria Gantana, speaking on behalf of the organizing faction, said the success of the initiative was a victory for religious freedom. Community goals. The latest missions for you to take on. Alliance Presidential Gala. Smith Landing, Amber. Earn rewards by delivering SU Secure Caviar, Ceremonial Hike Tea and Live Hecate Sea Worms to Smith Landing in the Amber System. Protecting Trade in Amber. Smith Landing, Amber, earn rewards by handing in bounty vouchers at Smith Landing in the Amber System. Alliance Presidential Gala. The Alioth Independents have announced plans to host a gala event in the Alioth system, to officially begin the Alliance presidential election. The event will give the as yet unannounced presidential candidates an opportunity to meet distinguished figures from among the upper echelons of Alliance society. Durian Ballas, chairman of the Alioth Independents, issued the following statement. Everyone's heard of President Gibson Kincaid, but the other candidates may not be so well known. This will be their chance to shine. As well as hosting key members of the Alliance Assembly, we can also confirm that Prime Minister Edmund Mann and three members of the Council of Admirals will be in attendance. To make this a truly spectacular event, the Alioth Independents have placed an open order for a Susikip Caviar, Ceremonial Hike Tea, and live Hecate Sea Worms, promising to reward pilots who deliver these commodities to Smith Landing in the Amber System. The campaign begins on the 6th of September 3304 and will run for one week. If the final target is met earlier than planned, the campaign will end immediately. Stay in touch. At Elite Dangerous slash Elite Dangerous official slash Elite Dangerous slash R slash Elite Dangerous. See you in the black, Commanders. Thank you from the Frontier Developments team for listening to Elite Dangerous Newsletter 243. My name is King Emerald Commander Black Star Launcher of all at your service signing off. Thank you again for watching me, Killing Things, and listening to the Elite Dangerous Newsletter 243. All comments are welcome and you all have a great day now.